my students uh, in this video we are going to learn direct broadcast satellite so direct broadca broadcast satellite uh, or dbs okay so this satellite provides broadcast transmission which covers large areas of the earth okay and this gives the direct transmission to our home which includes audio video and televisions and some internet services also okay so direct broadcast satellite it provides broadcast transmission which gives the direct transmission to our home it contains audio video and televisions and some internet services okay so look at this picture this is the broadcasting center it has earth station antenna dish antenna will be there so from broadcasting center the signals will be passed through to the satellite uh in uplink mode okay from your station to satellite means it is uplink in uh, some frequency uplink frequency and then from satellite to downlink by using downlink frequency it gives to the dish antenna of the receiver okay so here in the receiving side uh, the signal will comes to the dish antenna and uh, there will be a setup box in uh, in the user side Uh, so if it has a, if they have a tv they are having they will be having on viewing viewing card okay so viewing card is nothing but it uh, has the subscription uh, values the times and all all the information and number of channels we can view so here the signal received to the dish antenna uh, here this from dish antenna we are having on setup box from setup box it is connected to tv by using the viewing card uh, that is Uh, according to subscription we can view all the channels or uh, programs okay so this is the uh, basic concept of direct broadcast satellite okay so here uh, it receives signal from geostationary orbit we all know geostationary orbit means uh, uh, the orbit orbital path which uh, rotates the earth right okay it is the Uh, distance more more distance than the leo and mio okay so here uh, dbs subscriber reinstallation consists of dish antenna which uh, dish antenna will be 2 to 3 feet in diameter okay so conventional setup that is uh, setup box and conventional tv and also we are having the setup box in the receiver side that is dbs subscribers okay then in digital broadcast satellite we are having two units outdoor unit and indoor unit okay so outdoor unit means uh, the signal which comes from the satellite through the parabolic reflector antenna and the signal uh, from uh, satellite to here earth station user it has the up downlink frequency right satellite to earth station means we are having downlink frequency so the frequency may be 12.2 to 12.7 gigahertz the signal will be given to the horn feed antenna and then it is given to the low noise amplifier so this low noise amplifier it amplifies the signal without any degradation okay so from low noise amplifier to down converter it again down converts the signal and then it gives to the indoor unit okay when it gives the signal to the indoor unit the frequency will be down converted from 12.2 to 12.7 gigahertz to 952450 megahertz okay so this is the uh, procedure in outdoor unit so from when uh, satellite uh, to parabolic the signal receives the parabolic reflector Uh, it gives the horn feed and then to low noise amplifier so low noise amplifier amplifies the signal without any degradation and then it gives to the down converter so down converter <coughs> down converts the frequency that is from 952450 megahertz and then it gives to the indoor unit here the antenna size will be 18 inches in diameter okay the next home receiver unit is indoor unit so indoor unit um from downlink uh, we get the signal from satellite right so that is downlink signal so when we get that signal the downlink frequency will be as i said 12.2 to 12.7 gigahertz right 
so it gives to horn antenna and then to low noise amplifier then it has the down converter frequency 950 to 1450 megahertz we have seen in the outdoor unit right then it gives to the indoor unit that is end users that is to tuner so tuner selects the transponder we are having uh, different uh, 32 transponders in satellite right so it selects the tra which transponders we want to use it selects the transponder and then gives to the demodulator so demodulator what will do it demodulates the carrier signal okay so the uh, signal will be demodulated and given to stream dmx so stream dmx with if uh, if you are having eight uh, programs means uh, this stream dmx will be separate uh, the uh, programs in each okay it separate the different programs and gives as a audio block and as the video block okay this is the audio block it gives the audio output and we from video block it gives the video output okay and then it gives the conditional access so conditional access is nothing but ppv so ppv means paper pay per view okay that is according to the subscription amount for uh, each uh, channel we can uh, view the different channels okay then from conditional access then it uses the microprocessor or the microcontroller and also memories and then it gives to the modem to view the uh, programs or uh, signals okay these are the two home receiver uh, units that is outdoor unit and the indoor unit okay and then we will see the basic architecture of the um, dbs so here in uh, dbs this is the source content which is given to the uh, content conditioning and then to multiplexer then to encryption then to modulator and it gives to the dish antenna this dish antenna transmits the signals to the satellite then from satellite uh, it, uh, it down, downlink process will be done and gives to the uh, users that is TVR that is TV receiver TV receive only okay so here first the basic function of uh, this is the uh, these are together called as DTH head end for uplink that is from uh, broadcasting center to the satellite okay so here the basic function of a DTH head end is to aggregate all the contents into a format which is suitable for uh, broadcasting directly to the home homes of customers okay those who have signed up and are authorized to receive the services okay so here uh, they use the transcoding so transcoding is nothing but um, the transcoding is nothing but uh, the content is available in the in an encoded format such as mpeg to at a certain data rate means if a format other than mpeg2 is required such as mpeg4 means these videos can be need to be transcoded okay that is transcoding okay suppose if the content is in mpeg2 means if you want to change the content in mpeg4 format means we need the we need to the we need the video needs to be transcoded okay the next one is translating so translating is nothing but uh, after the format is corrected but the data rate will be sometimes too high okay so we have to uh, change the data rate okay that is translating the next one is multiplexing so multiplexing when the data content is of the required format means also these all contents will be aggregated using multiplexer okay and then next one is encryption what does it mean by encryption the content will be encrypted to avoid the unauthorized access okay some uh, unauthorized persons cannot uh, steal or uh, take the data okay and the next one is modulation and transmission so modulation and transmission means uh, the content is then modulated and transmitted from DTH uh, head end to the satellite and then for broadcasting to the customers. Okay. So, modulated, the content will be modulated and transmitted to the satellite from the DTH head end. Okay. And the next one is content licensing. So, licensing it provides, it's, uh, they require a licensing authority from the programmers 
before distributing the content to the customers okay we need a authority licensing authority from the programmers before distributing to the customers and the next one is video encoding that is compression a video can be cannot be transmitted in an uncompressed format okay uh, because it consumes consumes more bits so we have to compress the video content before transmitting okay so this is the basic architecture of uh, direct broadcast satellite so uh, direct broadcast satellite is it provides broadcast transmission right to direct transmission to home so from earth station broadcasting center will send the signal to satellite and then from satellite to dish antenna it has uh, receiver side we are having dish antenna in our home then set up box will be having then tv and they we have to insert the viewing cord uh, which has the subscription okay for particular month or uh, for different channels okay two different two receiver unit that is indoor unit and in, uh, outdoor unit and the indoor unit so in outdoor unit the sa signal received from satellite through two parabolic reflector antenna then it gives the signal to low noise amplifier which amplifies the signal without degrading the signal then down converts the signal and gives to indoor unit when we comes to indoor unit when down down convert the signal we are having tuner which selects the transponder of the satellite which transponder we have to use then demodulate the signal and then stream demux that is separates each programs then uh, it gives the output as audio and the video then conditional access that is uh, according to subscription we can view the channel then my mic microprocessors controllers and memories will be there and then we are having the modem indeed these are the parameters in indoor unit okay and then we have seen the architecture these are the dth uh, that is direct to home head end for uplink from uh, this uh, sender to satellite and from satellite to user community okay so these are the parameters in architecture transcoding transrating multiplexer encryption modulation and transmission content licensing video encoding okay hope you all understand this topic thank you students